Hello, hi everybody, and welcome to part 5 of Banjo-Kazooie. So, uh, we did fix Clanker's toothache. I got the jiggy piece on the left side of his mouth, but I'm going in the right side because there's a mumbo token here. Again, you want the mumbo tokens for later. Uh, I do have more than enough for the second mumbo hut that we're gonna come across, but... I want more! More mumbo tokens, dammit! Uh, again, you do not want to die when you're going through a level. Uh, because your musical note high score will reset, and that means every musical note and every little nook and cranny, you'll have to go back to it and recollect it again and stuff. And, uh, so while I do say that Banjo-Kazooie is not really much of a backtracking game as much as, like, Banjo-Tooie or Donkey Kong 64, if you're dying and if you're, you know, kind of getting yourself killed, that is kind of a problem. Anyway, with this part... We gotta, fly, we gotta fly through all the green rings, and we have a time limit, so don't dilly-dally. Uh, generally, they'll always be really close to you, so you know. I think you'll screw it up the first time just because you'll be a little bit confused as to where the next green ring is, but... Uh, avoid the tentacles. I don't know what the hell that is. <laughs> Clanker has a weird anatomy for a robot fish grinder thing. I, I don't think Clanker was born. But he, sure, he, he, seem, he sure seems to have a lot of blood and guts in here. Or at least lots of red pustule things. I, 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 don't, I don't know what Clanker is. I really don't. <laughs> Either way, you fly through the rings, the water will rise so you can reach higher areas, and you'll get yourself another jiggy piece. And those are always swell. But, uh, there's golden feathers all over the place, and we haven't actually understood what they're for yet, but we will pretty soon. And, uh, use this flying pad to find out why. Because there's only one move in Clanker's Cavern for bottles to give you, and it does, in fact, involve the golden feathers. So fly into this hole over here. And there he is. Holy, look at that fan! It's moving really fast! There's no way I can get through that! Well, that's why Bottles is giving us an invulnerability move. And basically, uh, for every golden feather you collect, uh, it will drain, like, all those golden feathers, like, every one second, every one and a half second, it feels like sometimes. But, you basically make Kazooie shield you with holding Z and pushing the right C button. And until you let go, or until all your feathers run out, uh, you will be invincible. Nothing can hurt you. You can pass through a fan like it's nothing, and uh, it's very useful. It's also useful for killing certain enemies that even pecking, rolling, or ground pounding will not actually kill. Because there are enemies like that, and uh, the golden invulnerability feathers generally damage enemies too. So you can barrel through enemies, kill them in one shot. Nothing hurts you as long as you got those golden feathers. However, you can only carry 10 at a time. You try to hold more than 10, you won't be able to. At least, not yet. Like I said, there's lots of unlockable stuff in this game, but uh, for the most part, for now, you can only carry 10. Uh, you won't need it too much just for platforming elements and whatnot, but... Uh... There's a pink ginger. That one's pretty hard to notice, too, because you gotta sort of look down when you're swimming around. Up and down, all around. That's where the Jinjos are. Anyway, there's lots of places to get inside Clanker from. <laughs> you can get it from his mouth, you can get him from his sides. There's this blowhole up here, and the blowhole shoots this little cog, or this little bolt up here, and that's where you can find another jiggy piece, as well as four more musical notes. And, uh, you think that's it for the bolt, right? You think that's all the blowhole is for, but you want to go back to the blowhole because when the bolt flies upwards, well, there's an opening where the blowhole is now. And so you want to check out that opening because, again, that's another entryway to Clanker, and it's another way you want to check out. So it's open, it's open. Oh, God, I hurt myself! And I'm in the hole now. <laughs> And in here is our Gruntilda Switch, as well as another Jiggy piece, as well as fans that move a lot slower than the fans we saw earlier, but I'm still gonna invulnerability my way through, because why not? God, I love the soundtrack. I'm sorry, that's gonna be like a prerequisite line I'm going to say in every video. God, I love that soundtrack. Because, <laughs> you know, 
God, I love this soundtrack. It's amazing. It's fantastic. It's so good. And he, here's the entrance to his left lungs or his left ribs or whatever. You want to go both ways because there are musical notes in both pathways. So yeah, you're going to be exploring every part of this fish. It must be feel kind of awkward having a very tiny bear and bird constantly going through you. <laughs> but hey, we're fixing him, so you know. We're fixing his toothaches, we're letting him get some air. We're good peoples, we're good peoples. I'm sure Clanker doesn't mind at all. This part can be a little bit interesting. Uh, I, I don't really find that uh, I fall off these things really badly. Uh, you just have to make sure you definitely start activating the glide, you know, when you're out of the hole, when you're definitely not going to run into a wall and screw yourself up. Either way, everything's all hunky-dory. There's a, a Jinjo in one pipe that you have to swim through in this area. There is a Mumbo token here. There is one jiggy piece in a very lawn pipe that you kind of need to go into the water first. And you want to sort of swim right to where that pipe is and then go to it. That way you don't lose too much air. Because the only bubbles are with the fish at the bottom. Generally, if you're in the water too long, you're going to drown. So you don't want to be in the water too long. Obviously. <laughs> but there's the, t the pipe right there. It's to the right of his tail. I'm looking right at it. I got to make sure I'm at the top of the water first, and then I gotta be really fast, because it's a really long pathway, and no breathing room, literally. So, let's keep swimming, keep handling those corners well. There's two ways you can swim, if you hold the A button, Banjo just moves his little feet and makes a very slow swim, but if you're holding the B button, Kazooie just keeps using her wings to push you forward really heavily, and uh, you wanna do that- damn it! Get the jiggy! There we go. Now I gotta get back before I drown. Don't want to ruin my musical note score. I don't want to have to go back and collect them all again. Oh god. There you go. So again, this is pretty much a sewer level, but again, because of the fantastic soundtrack, because I love the gimmick of Clanker as a, as a theme, I mean, how often in a video game are you going to help a giant mechanical fish go inside him a whole bunch, and uh, and that's the, basically the level, you know? How often are you going to play a game that does that? Not too often. It's creative, it's fresh, it's really fun. That's why I love Banjo-Kazooie, it really stood out among all the 3D platformers at the time. Like, this was before your Sly Coopers, this is before your Jack and Daxters, this is when everything was awesome. Anyway, one honeycomb is hidden right under this pipe right here. That one's pretty easy to miss because, well, it's hidden. All the honeycombs are easily the hardest items to find in the game. So, you know. It's underneath that pipe, you have to swim under it to get to it. It's just where the right fin is. Or is it the left fin? I don't care. <laughs> it's it's where a fin is. Uh, it's where one of Clanker's fins are. That's all you need to know. That's all you need. Anyway, this Jinjo, gotta ground pound that thing to find him. And I know a lot of people who get stumped on that because, yeah, you do have a ground pound attack, but it's really hard to tell what is an environment you can't really smash through. Like, sometimes there are doors you can peck through, and those seemed kind of obvious. But other times, not so much. I mean, there are certain doors in Gruntilda's lair you literally can't open, and they're just there for decoration and just there for scenery. And, you know. Booyah! So that's where the sixth honeycomb is. I now have an extra life bar. A booyah. No, but I'm saying, that, that, that part's hard... A lot of people won't think to ground pound it because it just looks like, you know, part of the scenery. Yeah, it is a little bit different from the rest of the pipe, so maybe some people could get the inclination that they could ground pound, but you know. Sometimes it just seems like it's just part of the scenery. It's just the way it is. You don't think you're going to smash through every metal grating that comes your way, you know? But that's just me. I, I, it took me forever to find that Jinjo when I was a kid, so... 
any of the last jiggy piece, you have to climb all the way up this guy's tail. It's constantly moving. And uh, the camera, for the most part, in Banjo Kazooie is pretty tight, pretty nice. You use the bottom C button to zoom in or zoom out. Uh, you can hold the R button to have it focus behind you and stuff. Uh, I've never really found the camera to be too big of a problem. It's just there are certain parts in Banjo Kazooie where you gotta go along these really thin pathways really fast because there's like a time limit and stuff. That's when it can get a little bit awkward, as we'll be seeing later. But um, it's never really too bad, I don't think. Not horribly so. Anyway, I just need four more musical notes. I got all the honeycombs, I got all the jiggies, and... Booyah! That is Clanker's Cavern, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm gonna jump cut uh, Banjo going all the way back to the beginning because, you know... It's a long trek, I gotta swim through the pipes and everything. <laughs> But generally, the only way you can exit a level is from this th little pad here. You can't just have a exit level button in the main menu. There's only, uh, you know, checking your statistics and then saving and quitting and going back to the main menu, so... Hit that switch on the left, and you will find your destination to a the fourth puzzle, which will unlock the fourth world. Also, we're gonna be running into Brentilda a lot in this part, and we're gonna be learning some horrible, horrible secrets about Grunty the Evil Witch. Because, uh, Brentilda's kinda gross. Kinda gross, I'm not gonna lie. Hey, Brentilda, what's up? Grunty wears a flea circus under that repulsive dress of hers. Yeah. Oh, God. She's also got this nasty pet dog whose name is Leg Chomper. Uh, I like it. My sister sings in her own band, Grunty and the Monster Mob. They're awful. Don't you support your sister, Brentilda? I mean, yeah, she's a hideous witch who is horrible as hell and ugly and mean-spirited and stuff, but come on. That's not nice to say. <laughs> Any of smashing this pad will open this grating, which will take you to the fourth puzzle. Once again, you gotta write down stuff that Brentilda says because, you know, it's always different every playthrough, and it will be crucial for a particular final moment in the game. Anywho, boom! We need seven jiggies to unlock this world. I still have 18 left to spare, but uh, the next world we'll be going to is Bubble Gloop Swamp. I love that name, Bubble Gloop Swamp. Bubble Gloop. Bubble Gloop. Bubble Gloop. I'm sorry, I got distracted. Sometimes I have ADD, but I don't actually have ADD. And people should not use that as an excuse to be, you know, inattentive assholes. A lesson, people. Sometimes it's just obnoxious saying you have ADD, when really, you're just a bad friend. I'm nice and slim once more! Burgers, fries, and chips galore! <laughs> My Dr. Wily voice is not very different from my grunty voice, I apologize. I don't have range. <laughs> Adio, 180 notes is needed for this note door, so again, collect them. And it takes us further through her castle, where she has giant statues of herself. I think she's in love with herself, I'm not sure. Brentilda is actually hiding behind the statue, so again, if you want some more clues for later, let's go talk to her. Hey, what's up, Brenty? My lazy sister often sleeps on a pile of treasure. Well, who wouldn't? <laughs> if I had treasure, that's what I'd be doing. The only thing she's ever won was the dirtiest undies co God damn it! Okay, Brentilda, this is too much information. I don't want to know this. She often boasts of appearing on the cover of Fat Hag Monthly, sitting on her broomstick. Oh, 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 oh God! Stop it! Th oh, that—that's gross. Okay, so she's got a flea circus under her skirt, which is gross all by itself. She's got dirty undies. Uh, she apparently poses for Fat Hag Monthly, which may or may not be as racy as Playboy. I, I don't know, but uh, we're learning a little bit too much about Gruntilda, quite frankly, and it's kind of disgusting. I mean, Jesus. Yeah, how could a girl who's in Fat Hag Monthly want to steal Tootie's beauty? You're in Fat Hag Monthly. I mean, you're, you're good looking to some 
disturbing people. Anywho, those are the waiting boots. I can't activate them yet because I can't... I have to find bottles in the next world. But, uh, Bruntilda again! My fat old sister's favorite sport is loogie f Oh, God. <laughs> Although she's dim, she attended Fat Hag High. Well, I guess that's why she did the magazine. You won't believe that Gruntilda's party trick is performing a scary striptease. Oh, God! Oh, God, stop! That's too personal! I don't want to know! So even if she isn't nude in Fat Hag Monthly, she's... she's... She does striptease? Her and her fat green body? Oh, God! She has a flea circus under there! Why would I want to see that? Oh, oh, God! God, no! God, no! God! Oh, God! See you in part six. Oh, God! 